Hey, what's up? I got some more lore content for you guys. And by the massive amount of tabs I have, you can tell that a lot of cards were revealed that I have missed. So I'm going to do a lot of catching up today, and I'm really excited to see these cards. Uh, a couple of them I have seen already, and a couple of them I haven't. So this is going to be a mixed bag of emotions. So with that, let's just get right into it because I'm trying to make this video uh, not a snores fest. Alright, so we're going to start with Vi. Wipe that grin off your face permanently. There's the one two punch. Eat this. Hit him where it hurts. Oh, yeah. Send a gift. Face me, face. Coming to save the day or wreck it. Bring it. Okay, so my initial thoughts on Vi are interesting, but underwhelming. Alright, let's take a look at Vi. When I'm in play or in hand, grant me 1, 0, up 2, plus 8, plus 0. So she can come out as a 5 mana 10, 5, which is what you want because she needs to hit something for 10 damage in order to level up. Her level up stats, she is a 10, 6, so she goes up to 10 attack if she wasn't already, and she gains 1 HP. She keeps challenger and tough when i strike a unit while attacking deal five to the enemy nexus so if she's not dealt with she is going to whittle the opponent down as actually pretty interesting as a secondary win condition to play around you can also keep her protected through like uh demacia cards barriers and you know stuff like that or you can go into the uh, Ionia route and use Spirit's Refuge to save her along with Deny in case they the enemy tries to vengeance her. So there are a couple options to play a Vi uh, deck. Here's a buff card Vault Breaker 3 mana burst. Give an ally 2-0 and create another Vault Breaker in hand. Now I believe this can be played uh, as many times as you have mana. So you can do three spell mana to play this once and then, you know, use nine mana to play it up to four times, giving something plus eight plus zero. That's pretty cool. Uh, it seems kind of weak to do, to just do that on your turn. You're not really getting too much value unless you're on an overwhelm unit and you're doing a massive amount of damage to the enemy nexus. So it seems a little bit on the weaker side, but cool idea. And then we got gotcha. 4 mana fast spell, when drawn, costs 2 less this round, deal 3 to a unit. So when you draw this, it's going to be a 2 mana spell, deal 3. So it's 1 mana cheaper than get excited and you don't have to discard. That is actually really good. And if you do like open this, I guess, and it's going to stay 4 mana, it's a 4 mana deal 3, which is not the worst thing because you still don't have to discard like get excited you're just paying one more mana overall i think this is a really good card it's another damaging spell that piltover has but this one is only to a unit you cannot target the enemy nexus with this so overall pretty sick actually all right i'll take a look at a couple more cards that come with the the vi reveal veteran investigator when i'm summoned all players draw one okay Two mana, three, two. Both players draw, that's fine. I don't know why it says all players. <laughs> Is there going to be like a free-for-all or battle royale mode in the future? Insightful Investigator. What can I say about this card other than I hope you guys are ready? Yeah. 
Patrol Wardens. When I'm drawn, I cost one less this round. So two mana, four, three. Wow, that is a, it, it's Sump Dredger without having to discard as well. Piltover has a lot of uh, early game minions that are four, three. Oh my god. I love it, very cool. All right, next, Lee Sin. Dragon Spirit. Oh, the spell doesn't need to be cast on him. That's interesting. Oh, it's before combat he does that. Oh my god. Stand as a Noxian or die as an Ionian. I made my choice long ago. <laughs> That is fantastic and so janky. I actually cannot believe Lee Sin's leveled up form does that. Alright, so let's take a look at him. 6 mana, 3, 6. Pretty weak stat line. When you cast a spell, give me Challenger. If you cast another, give me Barrier. So it only goes up to 2 times. When you've cast 7 spells this game, he levels up, which means he can level up while in the deck. You can play 7 spells before you even draw Lee Sin and he'll come out leveled up. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. 6 mana, 4, 7. Way better stat line. Dragon's Rage, enemies that I challenge. Oh my god. So Dragon's Rage is usually a 7 mana slow spell. An ally strikes an enemy and their nexus. If the enemy survives, recall it. Ah, okay. Oh, that's how they're going to do the wording. That makes sense. So, an ally hits an enemy and does the damage to the nexus and if the enemy survives it goes back to their hand got it also this is a reference in case you guys don't know to the lee sin april fool's release spotlight 10 plus years ago at this point all the players on each team attempt to surrender however i'm lee sin the blind monk meaning that games don't end and players can't leave until i say so However, I do eventually decide to win the game, so I walk up to an enemy champion and use Dragon's Rage to kick it into the enemy Nexus, immediately destroying it and winning the game. It is a hilarious callback, and I'm glad that they included this in the card's design. Alright, final card on this section is Claws of the Dragon. Summon me from hand once you've played two spells this round. Oh, so she just sits in hand and is a free 3-2 if you play two spells the same round. That's really cool. I absolutely love that. She's going to be good in spell slinging decks of all kinds. It's just a free 3-2. Oh, that's awesome. Now right, we got some more Lee Sin themed cards. Two mana burst spell, Sonic Wave. Give an ally challenger this round, create a fleeting resonating strike in hand. So this is Q1, this is Q2 from League. Give an ally to zero this round. That's cool. I, I like that. Challenger and plus two, right? Yeah. And we got retreat. Recall an ally to create a fleeting return in hand. Two mana recall an ally. Ionia card. So this is already good in a Yasuo deck. 
Summon an ally that costs three or less from hand. Ooh. Okay, that's really cool. So technically, you can recall a one drop, let's say Inspiring Mentor. Then you can summon a three cost in his place. That's kind of cool. That's good value, honestly. One card, three mana. You're paying the same mana for it, but you're also recalling at the same time, getting your Inspiring Mentor back. So you can buff something and then play it while it's buffed for uh, essentially the same mana that you would play it normally. That's kind of sick. Man, we got some more Lee Sin cards. All right, Concussive Palm. Four mana, stun an enemy to summon a Tail of the Dragon. Okay, stun an enemy, so that's already another good Yasuo card. Love to see it. Tail of the Dragon. When I'm recalled, transform into Concussive Palm. Oh my god, there's so many combos and things going on. You're like constantly putting cards on the board, putting them back in, their, in your hand. They're changing, you're getting more cards. It's going to be so hard to follow, actually. Concussive Palm. So that's this thing again. So these loop into each other. Stun an enemy, summon Tail of Dragon. Tail of Dragon, when it gets recalled, you get another Concussive Palm. Say that you can stun an enemy, summon another Tail of Dragon. Okay, Scales of the Dragon. When I'm summoned, create a Dragon's Protection in hand. 3 minute, 4, 2. Grant an ally, 0, 3 for 2. That's really good. Alright, cool. And now we got the amazing reveal that the next big region to play with is going to be Bilgewater. Let's take a look at some of the Bilgewater cards. We got Citrus Courier, 6 mana, 4, 5, heal allies, and your Nexus 3, then Rally. Ooh! We're going to get a Rally card out of this, huh? Jeez, there's going to be so many. Like, imagine Scouts and Rally together. It's just going to be insane. Zero mana, deal one to the enemy nexus, warning shot. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's hilarious. Zero mana, deal one burst. Unreactable. <laughs> you can't deny this because it's a burst spell. If you ramp this up with spell damage in some way, oh my god. <laughs> That's so silly. It's not going to turn into a warning shot. That's all I'm saying. 7 mana, 3, 4. Smooth, soloist, elusive, plunder. Reduce the cost of allies in your hand and deck by 2. Ooh. That's really insane. 3 mana, 4, 3. Plunder, grant 1 cost allies everywhere, 1, 0. What is plunder? <laughs> That's crazy. All right. Ursine Spirit Walker, five mana, four, six, plunder. I transform into Stormclaw Ursine. Okay, so he's going to turn into a 6-6. Six, six. Other allies with 5 plus power have Overwhelm. Just ambient. It's a passive effect. That's really good. Tusk Raider. Plunder. Double the power and health of all allies in your deck. Play. Draw Sejuani. This is one of the best cards ever printed, if not the best card. This is just going to be insanely powerful. As long as you can slow the game down enough. Right, this is playing on turn 8 which means the game is probably decided by now. But if you slow up the game long enough and you get this effect and you get just one card worth of value, then you probably win the game outright. Last we got Wolf Rider, four mana, four, three, plunder, gain an empty mana gem, and has Overwhelm. Mm, that's pretty good too, pretty good stats. All right, on to the first Bilgewater Champion. And I'm pretty excited because Fizz is one of my most played champions in League of Legends. So let's take a look at him. His voice is very different.
So my first impression is Fizz is supposed to be played in a proper spell slinging deck, and I really love the keyword attune. Let's take a look at some of the cards. So we got Fizzadino over here, one mana two, one. So he has one more attack than Teemo. It's kind of funny. When you cast the spell, give me elusive and stop all enemy spells targeting me. Oh, they transferred over the fact that he's a little shit from League to this game, huh? He gets on his E as soon as you cast a spell while an enemy's targeting him. That's so annoying. Oh, he's so frustrating already. I can already feel the, the anger. One mana, three, two on his level up. Okay, when you cast a spell, give me elusive and stop all enemy spells targeting me. So just like the first effect and next strike, create a chum the waters. So, oh my God, they can, you can do this multiple times. You can always protect him as long as you cast a spell. Like they can cast a spell, you can cast a spell. Okay, it resolves. They try to cast a spell on him again, you cast a spell again. Ah, oh my god. Okay, create a chum the waters. Right here. Four mana slow spell, grant an enemy vulnerable and summon Longtooth. Fun fact, that's Fizz's shark's name from his ultimate. Longtooth is a 5-1 overwhelm that is going to challenge the unit that you just chum the waters. That's really cool. That's a lot of damage. You already Nexus striked for uh, for three, and now you're hitting with Overwhelm for five. We got Playful Trickster, Fizz's actual E. Four mana fast, remove an attacking ally from combat to rally and attack again. Oh god, he's so annoying. I love it. <laughs> this is really good. And we got some support cards to go along with him. 1 mana 2 1. Wow, they have a lot of weak minions. Early, like 1 and 2 drops. Shell Shocker. A tune. So, a tune is that keyword where, when summoned, gain 1 spell mana. Pretty good. Cool creatures. 2 mana 1 2. A tune, so gain 1 spell mana. And when I'm summoned, create a random 1 cost spell in hand. It's really good. 3 mana, 0, 6, a tune, and elusive. Oh my god, he's so big. He's a big axolotl. What a cutie. And he's an elusive blocker. That's sick, he's just a tank. <laughs> and he attunes, he gives you one spell mana. You can also buff this, of course. Make him uh, bigger, have more value. Uh, wow, I love it. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> Alright, so that is the end of the reveal. There are more Bilgewater champions and cards coming out within the next few days. You know, stick around for more updates and more content. I'm going to try to get all the cards out quicker than I did this time. So I thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this interesting or entertaining. And I will see you next time. Thanks again and have a good one. Laters.